Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, hey, Calvary, thanks for tuning in for your word for the day. My name is Robert. As always, it's a joy to have you tuning in. And uh, I love hearing where you're at. Uh, and so put in the comments where you're watching from and uh, how this finds you. Some of you, it's over your morning coffee and reading on the back porch. Uh, here at Havasu, there's actually a season and weather now where the porch is enjoyable yet again. And so some of you may be taking advantage of that. Maybe it's on your lunch break or while you're getting ready or maybe listening to the audio while you're commuting. I don't know where it finds you. But I've got a question as we start off today, and that is how readily do you ask for help? Do you share a need that you have? Do you express that you need assistance from other people? Because some of you, I think, are great at that. And then some of you are like me, and you think, I just need to do it myself. And admittedly, this is an area of struggle for me that uh, I, I almost internally find pride in figuring out how I can do something by myself and not ask for help. Unhealthy, I know, I'm working on it. But here's, here's why I bring this up. Because our uh, readiness to not only ask for help from other people, but to ask for help from God is really significant. And as we look at Matthew chapter 7 today, we're going to see a reminder of the importance of simply going to God in prayer and asking for the things that are in our life that we need. So let's take a look. Matthew 7, starting in verse 7, it says this. Jesus' teaching says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And to the one who seeks, finds. And the one who knocks, it will be opened. Or which of you, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for fish, will give him a snake? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good gifts to those who love him? I love the analogy from Jesus there especially as a parent in the last several years, that passage and that explanation has, has gained so much power and understanding for me. Uh, and even if you're not a parent, thinking about your desire to give good gifts to the people that you love in your life, and you don't want to punish them, you don't want to give them the things that they don't actually need, you want to provide for them and bless them. And Jesus reminds us that that's who God's heart, that's, that's who he is, that's what his heart is. And some of you uh, maybe grew up with parents who are default no. So you're like, I'm not even going to ask to go do this fun thing. They're just going to say no. But that's not our Heavenly Father. He says our, our Heavenly Father loves us. He loves to give good gifts to us as His children. So what's Jesus say then? He says to ask. Ask for the things that, uh, that we need. Ask for the things that we desire, that we're craving, that, that we want more of in our life. And we don't have to worry about, hey, is this a godly request or not? Because he's going to help us filter those out. But simply ask. Share your heart. Share your burdens. Share your needs and your desires with him. He says to ask. He says to seek. To seek after his will. To seek after a closer relationship with him. To seek after living the life that he's called you to. And to knock. To always be exploring. To always be journeying and pursuing where God is moving and how he wants to work. So today, let me encourage you to ask, to seek, to knock, to do that in prayer with God. And to not hold back, to not think that you have to do things on your own, because guess what? We're not actually doing much at all on our own. It's God working through us, providing things for us, creating opportunities for us that we just get to walk into. So let's go to Him. Let's be people who readily ask Him for help, who readily seek Him and and, and pursue Him at a deeper level. I bet if you do that well, then you're going to see God show up in an amazing way in your life. So I hope that you do that. Ask for help. Right now, as this video ends, spend some time in prayer, expressing your needs, your desires, your wants before God, and pursuing Him at a deeper level, seeking after His heart and His will for your life. And let's see what happens. Have a good day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.